welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. And I'm John. And tonight we are reviewing the film End of Watch. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal in a great performance and Michael... Um, Pena. Pena, thank you. I, I knew that. I knew that. Uh, it's it, The writer and director is David Ayers, who did one of my favorite cop films called Training Day, starring Denzel Washington. I absolutely love this film. And... This film was really, really compelling. Compelling, I liked but it. emotionally devoid, devoid of emotion. And what I mean by that is, that as, as as a voyeur going into this the cop's world, which is a which is seeing the dre the dregs of, of society, you wonder how they keep it together. And that's that was the camaraderie that exists between the cops was was an interesting depiction in, in the film. Yeah, yeah, it was wonderful. The banter between Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pena was absolutely extraordinary. And I have to say, though, it it, it, it wasn't a training day, because in the training day you had, day, you know, uh, Denzel Washington that was so corrupt. Yeah, who was so corrupt. These cops aren't corrupt. These cops are really trying to do the right thing. I mean, they really, they not to sound corny, but they really care. And there is a tension that's created. I mean, it, it's done, first of all, from the point of view of the camera. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal is filming for one of his classes, so he has a handheld camera. And then you have the surveillance cameras, and then you have the gang called, members it's that split have... split focus, honey. It doesn't, is it now, honey? Yes, okay, then you have the, the gang members that have the camera. So there's a real intimate intensity that exists. And I understand what Put you're... Put your hands up. Oh, stop it. I understand what you're saying, I didn't get emotionally connected to these guys, although... It's a well-done film, and it, it's it, was, a really well it, done it really film. depicts the grittiness of uh, Compton and, and uh, the inner city. I mean, listen, I am not in the world... I, I can't even imagine what it feels like to be a policeman. But, oh my God, I have the greatest I have the greatest police story. I never talk on my cell phone while, while driving. Right. I really don't. But there was, anyway, a few weeks back, my dog was sick, so I was talking to John... On my cell phone, and these two really hot cops pulled me over. They were like in their 20s, right? So I put on the tears. I start to cry, and I go, oh, my God, my dog is sick. My dog is sick. Sorry, we're going to give you a ticket. And I was begging them because, you know, they're like, what, $150? Anyway, out of the blue, I say to them, you know, my husband did these really crazy movies called Faces of Death. The two cops go, just a minute. They walk off. They come back two seconds later. I swear to God. And they say to me, you know, those are my favorite films. We're not going to give you a ticket. We're going to let you off. Is that the best cop story ever? It is. Cops are, are big fans. Yeah, they are big fans, which I don't know what that says about cops. <laughs> I don't know what it says about anything. No, but, but I mean, that I was actually, so cool. I think it's great that, that, that they do that for the community, you know? Am I the community? <laughs> you were a commodity. I was a commodity. But anyway, back to the movie. I think David Ayers did a very, very good job. I, I think the acting is excellent. Um, you know who else is in it? Um, what's her name? America Ferrara from, no. uh, uh, you know, Ugly but, Betty. Yeah. And um, other people are in it that are really good, too, and I'll put that in my review. If you're interested in this world then you should definitely, definitely As go see this As opposed to the film. world you go to bed with or the world you wake up in or the world... Well, I mean, no. Some people like comedies. Some people like musicals. This is a gritty cop drama. It's a, exactly. A gritty it's devoid, cop it's drama. It's devoid of a lot of emotion. Well... For the viewer. Well, us. Yeah. But, I mean, there may be viewers out there that will get very emotional, right? I, I don't think this film will, will, will tap that... That's how do you know? How many? I mean, your world is very small, John. I mean, do you know any farmers in Iowa? As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> okay, I am giving End of Watch because it was really, really well made. I'm giving it three and a half bagels with lox, cream cheese, capers, the works. I'm giving it two and a half. Oh, John, you know what? Two you're, and a half, you're... two and a half bagels because of the the emotional factor, which is so important in these kind of films, was lacking. Everything else was was very well done. Well, I hope you put some cream cheese and locks on it, at least. They can put a little locks on it. <laughs> okay, um, End of Watch opens in theaters this Friday, which is um, September 21st. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on the Two Jews on Film Facebook page. And if you'd like to listen to us, you can hear us on iTunes, jcastnetwork.org. And don't talk on your cell phone while driving. Put your hands up and spread them. <laughs>